Hello everyone and welcome back to another Wizard 101 video. Today, I am going to be doing a video on how to get skeleton keys. Now, if you don't know, there are these things in this game called skeleton keys. Uh, I actually don't have any on me. Let me mark my location and go home real quick. But they're housing items. Focus camera, thank you. Um, that can be used to unlock these things called skeleton key boss rooms. And what those are is they have bosses that have rare loot on them. Uh, you can see here, if I go to my bank, I have a lot of gold skeleton keys here. There you go. Now, today I'm going to teach you the easiest way to get most of them. Um, and let me tell you that it is kind of a struggle to farm for these things. They're not easy to get by any means. It's not like you can just get, you know, you can just go, hey, skeleton keys, and then you have them. That's not how it works. You know, it, it requires a bit of dedication, a bit of effort, and eventually you can get it. So, we're first going to start with wooden skeleton keys. Um, also, wait, before I go into that, it's important to note that the skeleton key bosses also do semi-frequently drop keys. So, if you have one, it's a possibility that you can get another one from the actual boss that you fight. But it's not 100%, so that's important to note as well. First, we're going to start with wooden skeleton keys. Now, wooden skeleton keys... There is one surefire way to get it, as far as I know, and that is to do this side quest here from Renee Wolfton called Doggone Doug. What that does, it's not really what that does, but it's a side quest. You get a level 15, and that side quest will give you 100% chance a wooden skeleton key because it's a drop from the quest. So if you have um, six wizards and none of them have done that quest, like six wizards on your account, none of them have done that, there you go. That's six... 100% drops of wooden skeleton keys. So that is definitely a surefire way to get yourself to wooden skeleton keys. Now, in regards to farming, if you've already done that, I personally prefer, and I think this is the best method, is Barkingham Palace. Now, you get it from Private Kin uh, Kinchley at level 40. You go over here, and you go to Barkingham Palace. I would recommend farming... Um, you can farm any of the rooms, but I would recommend farming the last one, the one where you fight uh, Dr. Jackal, I believe. Um, so if you come over here, it's the rooftop one. Go around, and I think, I think it's the rooftop one. Let me go into it. I'm pretty positive it's the rooftop one, but basically, um, all of these rooms drop wooden skeleton key bosses so or drop wooden skeleton keys so um yeah the rooftop all of the uh, i don't know if every boss does but every section of here has at least one enemy that does so that's a way to get it also if you do this section you can get the gear as well which is decent for a level 40 up to level 60 but when you get the waterworks gear so there is that in my opinion, this is the easiest and best way to get wooden skeleton keys. There isn't really too many better ways, in my opinion. Um, obviously, there is other ways, but this is the preferred and uh, tried and true method. The other method, if you don't want to do a whole dungeon, is you can farm the Jade Oni. Uh, personally, I don't really like that just because the Jade Oni, Oni has 6k health. But if you want to, that is an option and it's an option for you to take. Next is the stone skeleton keys, and let me tell you, stone skeleton keys are not easy to get. They're dropped from almost no bosses, like if you look at the boss list, um, there's like almost none drop, um, almost none drop it, but as far as I saw, there are two main ways to get it, and both of them are in Avalon. Now, the first one really requires you, um, I mean, you, you don't have to go through the dungeon, you can just fight the first boss, but if you come to the wild here, and then you go to, where is it? Is it over here? Yeah, it's over here. Uh, if you see this tower up here, right here, um, the very first boss, I think her name's Kira White Talon or something, um, Kiva White Talon. She drops um, a stone skeleton key. All of the bird bosses in here drop a stone skeleton key. So that could be a useful way to get stone skeleton keys. As far as I know, it's it's probably one of the easier ones. I didn't really mean to uh, go home. I meant to go to Caliburn. 
Is there any... No, there isn't any quick ways to... Um, the outer yard. That's a shame. But, so basically, I'll just, like, walk there while telling you. Um, another good way to go is to go to the outer yard, which is where the final dungeon is of this game called the Keep of Gainlon. In the Keep of Gainlon, there's a boss called the Pendragon almost right off the bat. Uh, you don't even need to fight the last bosses. The Pendragon also drops stone skeleton keys. So, if you want to farm a boss, there are there's a few that you can get for stone skeleton keys. But, uh, trust me when I say stone skeleton keys are honestly one of the harder ones to get. Because there just isn't a lot of bosses that drop them. Uh, here's the Keep of Gainlon right up here. Um, you can see right here, big castle. Uh, and that's so that. For the final uh, skeleton key, gold skeleton keys, you're probably going to have them more than most, in from my experience. Uh, gold skeleton keys not only are dropped by things that you need to farm a lot, but they're also dropped more frequently than the other keys. I don't know if... I, I doubt that that's true. It just seems that way. Um, as you saw, I have like 20 gold skeleton keys in my bank. Um... Whereas I have zero of the other two. So, uh, in my in my opinion, from all of the gold skeleton key bosses I saw, the best way is to just do dark mark. Um, ev almost every boss, and and I, by almost every boss, I mean I think ninety percent of them, um, in dark more drop gold skeleton keys. So. You can go through Darkmoor if you want to and get gold skeleton keys that way. Probably going to be your best bet considering there's going to be a lot of people doing Darkmoor at all times. I mean, I know it doesn't look like it here <laughs> based on what I'm seeing. But a lot of people doing Darkmoor at all times. Also the fact that Darkmoor isn't that difficult nowadays to be completely honest. I think that's going to be your best way to get gold skeleton keys. Like if I look at the gold skeleton key boss... Uh, drop there is not a lot in the slightest that you can get them from uh, Crocopatra and Rattlebones duels if you want to but that costs crowns it's just kind of meh I think it would be better um I just do the graveyard section of Darkmoor if you want uh, gold skeleton keys because Yevgeny Shane and Malastair all drop gold skeleton keys so that, in my opinion, is your best bet, but trust me, they're difficult. I told you at the beginning of this video, skeleton keys are getting difficult. But that's really it for today. I wanted to go over the best way to get all of the skeleton keys. They can be quite useful if you want to do some side bosses that give you some stuff. They also, the bosses drop spell elements, so if you want to get spell elements for some spells, there you go, that's a way to do it. Not the best way, probably, but it's a way to do it. So that's all I really wanted to say. Thank you all for watching. Hope you enjoyed. And I will see you in the next video. Actually, before I leave, I want to say, Stephanie here, if you remember like a few videos, uh, a few videos ago, uh, two Stephanies friend me, man, they're trooping. They're level 70 now, which is kind of impressive. So I'll see you in the next video. Have a fantastic day. Thank you all for watching.